Hey guys, it's Targon coming at you with another game of Hardcore Minecraft. And we are just going to jump into the world and spitball what to do. So, as memory serves, we need more wood. So we're going to affect that and uh, get a little bit better torch placement and decide where we want to live. Ruined portal in the distance. Ruined portal in the distance. That's where we'll go. Seems good. Last night uh, in World was pretty hectic. A lot of fun, but pretty hectic. So we're going to try to uh, do things a little more efficiently this time. But I have a terrible inventory setup. I should have managed that. Probably needed to go to bed at the end of the last video something of the sort plenty of pumpkins which I could get but I'm not going to a lot of birds which we will want feathers to be able to make uh, brushes and inventory to full ditch the flesh literally don't care about the rotten flesh there are villagers that buy it but I don't have any villages We're going to come here and just uh, grab uh, some some sheep chops. This will be Sheep Chop World 2. Not really. This will have to have a different name. You can't just name everything the same name forever. I mean, you can. You absolutely can. No one can stop you. A lot of birds here. A lot of feathers. Feels good. Always good to uh, to get wealthier, and we see that uh, you know this is this is a really nice spot. I like this. And I'm not picking up the eggs because I didn't have them in the inventory, which is not like perfect, but it'll be okay. And we'll go around this way to get to the nether portal, yes. And along along the way, just keep on, uh, you know, grabbing these resources. Wool's always good. Man, there are a lot of animals that live here. I mean, not anymore. I know you're saying not anymore, but there used to be. There sure did. But this is going to let us get all the food that we need for a, a more intense exploration because we're going to be able to have you know 30 or 40 units on us which is enough to go absolutely anywhere hopefully this nether portal will give us a good thing or two or rather the it is not a nether portal it is the the husk of one where a nether portal once stood either that or where somebody got distracted in the middle of building one uh, probably because they did not have enough ornamentation to make themselves happy Said they would come back later, and didn't. I'm going to eat one of the one slot foods, thus opening up a little bit more of the inventory, and we're going to go to the, the cooked cod for our next foods. But before then, over to the ruined portal. Ow. And I'm just grabbing some magma because I think I might need magma for something. I could use it, uh, you know, to intimidate my enemies. That's always good. This one's got the, uh, the weeping obsidian around. Where's the chest? Right here. Okay. More obsidian, enough iron for another uh, ingot, a uh, gold shovel. That's the worst shovel ever. And gold horse armor for a horse I can't ride. Uh, we're just going to leave this stuff here. Uh, foot and steel. I, I've never started a fire that mattered except on the inside of another portal. And I don't think I'm going to be doing that right now. So we're just going to ignore the foot and steel. And uh, be happy with our little haul here. This is a bunch of food. And that'll be nice. And we're just going to keep on uh, freeing the land of its uh, denizens here. I'm sure they will feel good knowing that they went for a good cause. And if not, well, you know, 
No one asked the pig's opinion. I think you'll find that people very, very rarely ask the pig's opinion. Uh, likely because we, we already think we'll know what the pig's opinion will be. And we're uninterested, uh, honestly, in that sort of thing. I mean, you know, the, the documentary Animal Farm came out a long time ago. I will work harder. And... Yeah, we just need to start heading home. I should have brought a boat. I know for a fact I didn't bring a boat because... Well, I have met me before. And I... There are a lot of ways to describe me. Uh, the optimal height for an adult human, that's a good one. I like that description. But boatless is probably the most appropriate uh, for the most amounts of times that it happens to me. Tarquin the Boatless, they'll call me. Uh, a better a better handle than Tarquin the Proud. But uh, may maybe that's another way that I can be remembered. The Minecraft player that loved flowers and neglected to bring his boats with him anywhere that he ever went. But rather than go directly home, we are just going to uh, cut down a couple more trees. And that's just because I think night is coming on a little bit soon. And whenever the next day dawns, I do want to strike out in some other direction a little bit. Either to, uh, you know, find a village potentially, or to find some, some raw materials uh, before we, we start settling down wherever we want to go. There's no point in building a house if we don't even have a full suit of iron armor yet. But I think about that lush cave uh, that we saw the entrance to, and that might be a good place to adventure. There's also a ton of clay in lush caves. And clay is how you make nice little brick houses. If you're me. Those houses are very important to you. I, I love the aesthetic of them. So we're just going to look at our sideways furnaces and start the uh, the long cooking time of all of our raw meat here. We're going to drop another furnace down. Yep, that is the appropriate move rather than wait around. We're going to have them facing in all different directions because, you know, wow, zany, so fun. But, uh, that's going to be plenty of charcoal there. And with 14 more, uh, wood, that'll be what we need. And we're just, uh, we'll make a chest. Yeah, might as well. And do I have a helmet yet? I could have looked some other way. But now we'll, uh, be armored head to foot. Oh, the, the leather helmet looks terrible. I look like a... Like a 1920s football player. Inexplicably armed with a shield. But... That's right, I can make the iron into... A bar, since I have enough of those nuggets for an ingot. And that will allow us... Uh, the glorious iron pickaxe, which is... Another absolute necessity... If you want to uh, be going and finding cool stuff, because there's no point in digging up gold with a stone pickaxe. There's a point if you want to despair, but it doesn't work. And I think, yeah, we'll just make another furnace at this point, because uh, the longer I stand around here without some uh, semblance of efficiency, the more time is burning out of the day. And this will just be the one for the pork chops, and then we will uh, plank up, make a single stack chest, because we're not going to need uh, more than that for our stuff. And yes, there we go. The, uh, the day is uh, coming to an end, more or less. And I already had made one chest. Of course I did. I just need to wait till this one finishes up, yes, and then we will put the beef in there, cook most of it probably, do I have seeds on me? Yes, I do. And that 
is an elegant and wonderful way to end the night. And I've unlocked the recipe for cake. Let them eat seeds. And it's time uh, for just a little bit of light inventory management before bed, as is tradition. Where we will put our, our saplings and bones in various stews, our, our golden axe that banes the arthropods, all of all of the junk. And uh, not the food. The fishing rod, not the fishing rod, not the dirt, yes, the magma blocks. The doors will obviously need. And even after going through and getting rid of all the unnecessary stuff, I still have just too much things. Too much things. That's a way to pretend to talk. But I am going to go ahead and drop a crafting table in here as well so that I don't have to go outside in order to make another boat for the morning. And I think that'll... Uh... That'll just about do it, so we'll say goodnight to Garuda here. He perches, looking at us expectantly, and a new day dawns, a new ritual seed for Garuda, and a new opportunity to become a big hero. There's a zombie burning in the sun. Nobody deserves it more than him. Could have stayed at home. So I am going to bring uh, one of these furnaces with me. That's just in case I find uh, iron and need to smelt it along the way. I won't need to be carrying uh, the stone with me because that's the only thing I'd really want to make out of it anyway, I think. But we've got a big brace of torches on deck. We'll be able to get up to 25. That's not nearly enough. Rookie numbers. 37. That's better. Because really, the, the length of the excursion is always defined by the amount of, uh, of torches that I have. And I like to be pretty haphazard with, with placing them. So we're just going to make Ocean Fall... Uh, for speed of traveling, uh, passing by a previous boat, you know, we'll leave it there. We might need it later. The shield sometimes, like, automatically blocks um, there, you know. Um, and then, of course, uh, someone, someone has left a boat over there also. Um... Are those the only two boats? Inquiring minds want to know. I think they may be some of the only two boats. Shipwreck? Ah, shipwreck. Magnificent. So we've got our... Uh, our scouting mindset on. I think I saw a chest in that little alcove already, so we're just going to go down to that one, keeping in mind to look around a little bit uh, to not uh, become vulnerable uh, to enemies. Bury treasure maps, so that's a good plan. And of course, a map in general is always nice. We're going to get to the surface, just look around real quick, making sure that nothing ominous or wicked comes this way. And we're going to be able to come in and grab... Uh, the second one, finding an absolute ton of wheat, a lot of potatoes, and, uh, you know, an amount. Oh, no. I need a place to place this door. That, that felt a little sketchy, but I knew it was going to be okay. <clears throat> All right, so what I need to do now is identify where the third chest is, because there is a third chest. There's always a third chest. I don't know if there's always a third chest. It would be inside of the boat. And it would be in an area that was, like, uh, concealed, right, with, uh, with some kind of junk. So maybe down there. And I'm... 
I think we'll just door the ground here. And this will be a, a little easier to look around. Alright, so I'm thinking it'll be in here somewhere. Like, uh, concealed by gravel, maybe, like, in this area, because it just seems like there's generally a third chest. And here, we are in the dark, which is not great, but we are in an area where we're going to be able to, uh, mine around. Nope. Screwed that up. So it's possible, of course, that I'm not going to find a chest at all, but I, I was hopeful. It just seems like it would be in that area. But I'm not doing a wonderful job of nav navigating into it. We'll just have to move our door somewhat very carefully. All right. And now another torch. We'll get back to work chopping up uh, this boat and seeing if it's got a secret compartment because I just, I feel like I normally see. A three chest boat, but maybe not this time. Or maybe I'm searching in the wrong spot. Because often what you do is you look for any spaces where uh, where you can just break your, uh, your axe doing dumb things. I need another axe. I need another axe. I think we make one right here, except I don't have stone because I didn't bring stone for the tool. Smart. Well, we're just going to crack this door and go to the surface because I'm getting a little antsy about being down here. But I don't want to give up. Because I, I really think that there's... Um, that I think that the, what I think is there is there. I think there's another chest with better stuff in it. But, you know, I, I, I'm not always right. I just... I feel like there's usually three. So we are going to uh, make uh, some, some more doors. And that's just going to let us move around more freely on the inside. We've still got a few minutes to nightfall, I think. We'll get the boat closer, so if we notice that it's getting dark, we'll be able to immediately uh, bail out uh, better, hopefully. So, places the chest could be. We've already got the chest that's right there, and then the chest on this side. But there's almost always one that's hidden from you in some way, so we're just going to keep on breaking the boat apart in hopes that I'm right. Even though, logically, one wouldn't be right by this chest. But it could be... like in that sort of uh, prow area, if indeed that is the prow. And if it's not, then pretend I didn't say a nautical term with a very, very rigidly defined uh, meaning. Alright, so this is probably the bow. That's another that's another word where if it's wrong, just pretend I didn't say it. So the gravel is in the middle of the boat, but it's sort of on this gravel area too, so maybe the gravel is not suspicious in this context. There's, like, theoretical internal spaces up here where it could be, right? I say the spaces exist. I'm actually not terribly confident that they exist anymore. Well, we're just going to bash a, a hole into the top of the boat here, and if we don't get 
uh, the result that we're looking for here in a second of another chest, then we will just chalk this down to uh, the belief that sometimes they, they don't have three chests. Really thought they did, but this is a weird shipwreck. It's upside down. It's, uh, you know, it might be like all of this. I need to, uh, to dig a little deeper here, but it's coming on nightfall, isn't it? Yeah. It will be nightfall soon-ish. So, uh, the good thing is, the great thing is, that I'm going to break this uh, crafting table for a reason probably incoherent. Pick up some of this wood junk. Do a sick drift in my boat. And we're going to run back home uh, for the night because uh, I anticipate that the sun will be going down in a couple of minutes. And, uh, and then we're going to uh, treasure hunt. So where is the treasure? You know, using the position of the sun, we could probably figure out where we're going. But we're we're going south right now, which means it's probably on that island over with uh, with the ruined portal. I think the the shape of the curvature there sort of indicates to me that that would be there. But we will, uh, you know, we'll get closer to it over time. We will leave our boat on the beach. Whatever, I'll make another boat. Who cares? No, no, I'm a, I'm a better person than this. And instead, I dropped the boat. I am going to lose my mind. I am the dumbest person in the world. Okay, there's the boat. Now, rather than a safe walk home, we're probably going to have to brawl a little bit. But the night's just falling, so perhaps we'll get there in time. And of course, we've got significantly more torch coverage on this side now than in the past. So I'm not super worried about like every monster of the deep uh, rising up at once to make us miserable. Some of the monsters at a time, bad. All of the monsters at one time, worse. But now the coastline is lit up. The beacons are in the air. And I think, yeah... There's basically very solid uh, light coverage on this entire uh, side now, which feels good, nice and safe. But I think this music's very intense, very cool, but uh, unfortunately, Rather than keep on engaging with the intense music, I think we're going to have to go ahead and call the video now. We will uh, we will use the stairs to make charcoal. Oh my goodness, the efficiency. And uh, and when we return, we'll just uh, you know have more of the same. We will make the wheat into bread. No, yes, we will make the wheat into bread. But before we go, I just wanted to say, you know, thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for listening. I hope you've enjoyed. Garuda, get off of there. <laughs> A ritual seed for Garuda. And uh, I hope I'll see you in the next video. Uh, have a lot of fun in this world. And when we return... Uh, we will start with the buried treasure search, so if you want to see me get annoyed, make sure to check that out.